Hi everyone, my name is Emma and today I'm going to be talking to you about the baking process. So in this specific specific example, I'm going to be talking about cookies. So, um, cookies usually has eggs, flour, depending on what toppings you want, and there's chocolate chips, um, sugar, you know, all of these ingredients make a big role, have a big role in the baking process. So, um, first, um, when this is put in the oven, the gases um, start to form and then they are trapped within the proteins um, whether that comes from gluten from the flour or from eggs the protein in the eggs so this um, helps to helps with the expanding process of the cookie next um, the starches within the cookie whether that's flour um, usually it's flour um, will start to gelatinize this happens at around 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and this also helps with the expanding process. Um, next, the um, the fats start to melt. So the fats, whether that's butter, um, shortening, oil, they start to melt, which this is really important because it helps to make the product moist and keeps it nice and soft. You know, that's what fats are supposed to do. They give it, makes it nice and soft, and it also gives it flavor. Um, next the water evaporates within the product this is also really important when it comes to cookies because when the water evaporates it creates steam at 212 degrees Fahrenheit and it makes a crust around the cookie which gives it a little crunch um, when you eat the cookie on the outside next the sugar starts to caramelize this happens at around 320 degrees Fahrenheit which of course gives for example, if we're talking about chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookies, it gives it that caramel, caramelish color, um, that golden brown color, because that's when the sugar starts to cook, which gives basically almost all products the color. This helps also with the moisture and the texture, the overall texture of the product. Next, there's um, a really important step in cookies is carryover baking. So once you take the cookies out of the oven, they have to cool off before you can serve them because once you take them out they're still kind of they may look a little undercooked they may look a little raw but you have to let them cool so the sugars can start to recrystallize or make it um the texture a little bit firmer not too firm not crunchy but it starts to make it firm so it's easier to eat and it won't fall apart once you're eating it um this process also comes from the um heat from the baking sheet which keeps it nice and warm but it also helps it cool off and um come back come to the form that's supposed to be in the last part is starch retrogradation retro retrogradation and this um helps this happens sometimes when it's stored improperly when um any product is stored improperly so once it's under 40 degrees fahrenheit it can start to um become hard and all the moisture within the product starts to leave the product making it dry and hard or for example stale so it should never be stored under 40 degrees fahrenheit unless it has perishable products in it like a cream frosting or something like that so yeah that's kind of a review of the baking process and thank you for watching bye